No doubt, this is a pretty incredible sight. That's a gorgeous sail. The prettiest sail I've ever seen. exciting joining sailing vessel Nanji and documenting my quarantine on the other side of the world. Please stick to the very end to learn of my sponsors and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Are teaching me about the wind vane. A wind vane is an alternative to an autopilot. A wind vane is used on sailboats to maintain a chosen course or point of sail. I've never used one of these before. Point to left. So, so that's off. Off. It's over that side, and you see there's the three holes. Uh huh. You just gotta the first one. The first one is like the easy one, and then it goes to the boat. So it's light winds, and then um, stronger. It just basically means that the angle of the rudder is less and so the boat's not going to be snaking. So if you have like an inferred gear where it's only light winds, the boat will be like snaking because the rudder degrees will be like 15 degrees rather than if it's just like light winds. Because it's always going to go to the changes. If it's light winds, it'll have to go like 5 degrees, 5 degrees. So you're not going to be like snaking and it's always hold it. It's, it's just like we start getting, the wind picks up and we're in a lighter gear and we start rounding up because we've got too much sail and we're power. Then we go into the next year. The head sails coming in, and they're going to take their spinnaker out for their second time. It's called the unicorn fart, and we have matching outfits with the sail today. All right, you have to take down the head sail before you put a spinnaker up, otherwise the sails will just block each other. But we are going to leave the main sail up. So spinnaker will fly out over on the port side, just like the main is port side because the wind is coming over the starboard. And before you put it up, of course, you need to have a halyard attached to the top, the head of the sail, and then you have to also um, secure the tack and the clue, the bottom two corners of the sail. So that's the part that we're doing right now, and then we will hoist it up and let her go. No doubt, this is a pretty incredible sight. That's a gorgeous sail. The prettiest sail I've ever seen. Check out the details of this sail.
What do you think? <laughs> I love Unicorn Park. It's so good. You just kick back. We're doing four and a half, five, and it's blowing less than tens. Sweet. Eight knots, and we're doing five. Love it. It's changed the game, it's changed the sailing life for us because we don't have light sails so you know if it's light winds we'd have to start the engine and now we can just hoist up the spinnaker and keep sailing. Fly it baby! Like yeah. <laughs> just fly baby! <laughs> and then look at this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Return of Sailing Nanji's crime scene. So uh, we've decided that this may be a therapeutic experience. Um, this is something that we're saying you have to face your fears on and just return to. And so I think that if they're doing this after everything they've been through, by the end of our trip together, they're gonna make me like hold a snake or something. And I'm gonna have to face my fears. I think that's coming next. Yep, definitely mixed feelings about being here right now by these two. Some history of this location. Months earlier, sailing vessel Nanju was reefed here at Rock Knock. It was a night we all dread and never hoped to experience. The mooring ball failed them, and the middle of the night, and they had to manage all on their own. The amazingly fiberglass damaged while the tide was low, then the park rangers helped free their boat from the reef, and the tide returned. They sailed to the closest port and hauled out, and after weeks and weeks of hot and exhausting work, we have celebrated their splash day and are now back at the scene of the crime. We are here to thank the park rangers, return some equipment, and happy to show Nanji is afloat Back at sea. morning dip in the ripping current, then said goodbye to Benita and Yash as they went to visit the park rangers. one to one for staying here last night and uh, 
I, I, I can't believe they actually anchored here. I know I couldn't do it. I mean, <laughs> what an emotional experience. And uh, they literally just fixed this boat with their bare hands. And being part of like, just the sweating labor that went into it in the Thailand condition <laughs> boat yard, um, they put in a lot of work. So, you know, more than props to them. That's pretty amazing considering the time frame that they had and they got out in time for their visas and they're doing the right thing by bringing you know all the equipment back um, and, st and stopped here where they do not want to go to do that so uh, yeah awesome rad resilient couple here sailing Nanji thank you for watching another video Please visit patreon.com and find La La Libra to support my videos. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.